every rock. Running from the car, shooting at the ops. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? Shooting at the ops, cause I run that block. Give me top, top, and my drop, top. I didn't hug on flop, flop, when I drop, drop. Hi, YouTube. Okay. So today, we, I don't know yet what I'm going to title this Ashley Talks, but um, as y'all seen in like my vlog, if you watched it before you watched this, which I hope you did, um, I've been kind of like dealing with some things. Um, my aunt died on Monday, which it wasn't like, it was kind of unexpected, but it wasn't really unexpected. And the only reason it wasn't fully unexpected is because she did have a stroke and when she had a stroke she was in a coma from her being in a coma. She finally got out of her coma like a year after and she couldn't like really speak or walk but um, um, but we pretty much just had her like in a home that was helping her uh, try to like recover or whatever the case may be. She wasn't recovering any and then she wound up having another stroke and this time around like the doctors couldn't save her so she uh, died. So um, I kind of did take a little rough on Monday and it's not, I can't say, no it's just because she died. Like I was going to say it's not because she died but it's just more so like it was just kind of unexpected but it's just like I kind of had like some false hope just to be so truthful like um. I just had false hope man like I was praying like that this would be like part of her testimony or something that like she would get better and like watch her grandchild like grow up and like everything will go back to normal and like the way my dad's side of the family is we just we don't handle death real really it's like kind of like breaks us up it breaks us apart as a family just because um that family is like pretty well off so it's like money issues on like doing the funeral and like just things of the sort of like that. It just overpowers my like family on that side. Same was with my great grand's um, death when she died. Um, a lot of her kids, which she had like I think my grandma has like seven or nine brothers, uh, nine brothers and sisters or something like that. But uh, pretty much like everybody wanted their own piece of piece of the put in type stuff and um, it just. It can't work like that. Like it, it, it just it just causes too much animosity. Um, but pretty much what I want to talk about is dealing with death or dealing with depression, kinda. Um, I can't speak too much on it because I really don't know how to deal with this. Like. I'm not good with it. Like I can't cope with it. Like knowing this one's not gonna be here. Like I can't cope with it. And it's kind of like the reason why I'm not in a relationship is because I can't. I can't let myself fall in love with somebody and then knowing that they could die anytime. Like and that hurt. Like it just kind of scares me. So I don't want to be in a relationship. So it like kind of like messes me up. But uh, this past week. Um, I, one of my friends, he, he was really great. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, he stepped up to the plate more than what I thought he would have. So, it kind of, like, caught me off guard, but, like, it was mad love there. Like, I really do appreciate him. Um, but as for how to just deal with the death, um, pretty much, I'm just gonna tell you, like, what my family says, and from there, we can just go into more, um, just more of a talk. Um, what my mom says is like the first day it's okay to break down break down and wallow and be like kind of closed off the first day which my first day i literally got mad drunk had a bubble bath and cried like the whole time and then like my dog woke me up out of the tub like i like licking my forehead and i was like okay girl it's time to get this tub so my drunk self got out the tub and laid in bed and then my friend came over and I pretty much just cried myself to sleep and he just laid with me which was like he boy he's just so A1 like the more and more I think about like how he just stepped into a plate it just like kills me but um yeah that was my first day so first day it's okay to wallow in your sorrow the second day take that as a personal day 
to get your mind together get everything that you need together together and me pretty much when I say get my mind together I pretty much slept that day away um I did not eat did not get out the bed the the like did not get out of my bed to brush my teeth did nothing like I just like kind of stayed in my bed so it's just like take the second day as a personal day um as for the third day uh, this the third day is when you need to start moving around third day is when you need to start getting stuff done third day is when you need to either try to get back to work or just clean up your house and <laughs> do something and me personally I did try to go to work for an hour it didn't I, I tried to go to work it didn't work so I pretty much went home and I cleaned my house and I got some business taken care of and then as for Thursday Thursday I actually went back to work and I went back to work full time I couldn't wake up in the morning I just couldn't like <laughs> like serving at IHOP is like you kind of got to have this personality on and I was just not ready to put up my front like I wasn't ready to put up a smiling face on Thursday but I was okay with going to Walmart and just uh, working but I couldn't put up a front while serving people like that couldn't happen and so um, as for Friday Friday I went to work full time like everything was back to normal um, and uh, that's when you kind of that that day like um, what day are we on sorry um, the third day was Wednesday and that's pretty much like trying to get moving around again Thursday I finally got it together which the fourth day fourth day there's no turning back fourth day you need to get out of your bed you need to get out of your house and you need to start going and moving and continue continuing your life as you should by the fourth day fourth day that means your week is almost over like it's time and um, Friday hit Friday um, is when you need to start interacting with your friends or your family me personally I interacted with my family went to my grandma's house and I kind of chilled with my little cousin um, Nicola Nicholas and uh, listen to the old people complain and talk um, as for Saturday I went to the strip party which I actually was gonna sit at my grandma's house that day but I decided not to I decided to um go out with my friend my friend slash big sister Tamika and we went to the strip party which was good to get me out of the house and then later on that night I actually really wanted like I just really wanted something like all these like all Monday through Friday I was not sleeping alone like I had my friend there with me and as for Saturday is like like my friends were switching shifts type stuff and so I just really wanted something and it just like didn't happen Saturday <sighs> life goes on and then on Sunday I pretty much just kind of like I'm not gonna say I'm crawling back into my shell but like in the same sense it's like I'm not ready y'all like the funeral is Wednesday and I'm just not really up for it but those those uh five days that's the five days of dealing with the death you just you gotta <laughs> you gotta take it as you can you know what i'm saying i'm not saying rush the process but i'm saying don't fight it or don't like don't try to um ignore it pretty much uh with one of my friends my one of my friends died when I, um i was a freshman she got shot in the head when i say y'all like it really broke me it really broke me like and it broke me automatically it's like I cried a little bit and I was like okay let me shake this off like let me shake this off and then it was like I was dreaming and dreaming and dreaming and thinking and thinking and thinking and it's like I'm pushing off pushing off like I'm in school like I can't be dealing with this right now I can't miss no days I can't I can't <laughs> I can't mourn you know I don't have time for it so I was like pushing it off pushing it off pushing it off and finally like randomly like I was in the shower and I like broke down like don't get yourself to the point where you have to break down like break down right away cry all your tears that you can cry do what you need to do just so just so that you can move on you know like not move on from the death like I don't want to make it seem like oh I just I'm ready for it to be over but in the same sense I'm ready for it to be over I'm ready for it like deaths are never easy and like you never really ever get over it it's still like something that's like in the back of your head like so and so died so and so died and so and so died like 
it is always going to be a thought but in the same sense I just don't want it to keep hurting me the way it hurts me when I think about it and talk about it like I, I don't like being hurt and it's just like it kind of just hurts me um and so that's like some of the ways just to, like the couple of day steps that I have for you guys to get over a death um as for depression depression is a very serious matter um if you feel like you want to kill yourself or you feel like you want to take a life or take your life or any of those type of feelings it is time for you to get help don't sit I, I live by myself so I could not sit in my house by myself and have those thoughts like you need to reach out to a friend a family member you need to reach out to someone that can help you pretty much if you are depressed or feeling suicidal you really need to get help and y'all always say in the link below like in links below or in the description box I'll put something but this right here I'm actually gonna put something because this is like suicide touches my heart like um this is a story time that I'm gonna put up just yet but my dad committed suicide and it really messes with me like and that's another reason why I cannot love a man is because like the first man I have ever loved killed himself my dad was the first man I have ever loved and he left me he like he died and so just like that's why like it's really hard for me to deal with some things is because because of that like it really is it's like I try to move on from it like everything happens for a reason but in the same sense it's just like it hurts you and so just knowing that like if you're planning on killing yourself you need to first think about all the people that you're going to hurt um a lot of people say that when you are getting to the point where you're going to commit suicide uh you kind of think about like oh you're helping everyone everyone else no one else will care but the truth of the matter is everyone does care like everyone will care people at your job will care people at your school will care teachers will care your parents will care your little sisters your little brothers they're gonna have to grow without their big sister or big brother like you gotta think about more people than just yourself like and that's why suicide is like i can't be i can't be just I can't have so much sympathy for people who commit suicide and the only reason it is because like you're being selfish don't be selfish you need to think about other people and you need to live your life I know you might not feel like you want to live or you shouldn't have to live because someone else wants you to live but in the same sense it's just like there's so much more in this world for you rather than just taking your life like don't do that so um if you feel like you want to commit suicide or you feel like you are depressed in any type of way, please reach out to someone and talk to someone about it. Go to counseling. Do whatever you need to do. No matter if it's calling a hotline that's going to be linked below. Call the hotline. Chat online with the hotline. Like, Do whatever you need to do, but in this, all of all, don't commit suicide. You know? And um, I don't know where my dealing with death, uh, depression... The suicide but I feel like those all kind of mixed together because when people die it's just like sometimes you feel like you're dead inside so it's like you want to die too but it's just like you're not God left you on this earth for a reason so you know what I'm saying like live but um that's all I kind of wanted to touch base on I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit of my thought about things like that also give you guys my five day tips on dealing with um, a death and depending on what the death is, it depends on how long you might want to wallow in your sorrow. Because mine was my aunt. Um, it was actually my great aunt, my grandmother's sister. So that being said, it was a great aunt. Now, if my aunt aunt passed away, I might not be saying the same exact thing that I'm saying now. I probably won't be moving as fast as I am now. If my grandma, I would not be moving as fast as I'm moving now. My mom, you know what I'm saying? Like certain, it, it's just different for each person because each person touches your life in a different way. And as for my aunt Terry, she was just that really cool aunt. You know what I'm saying? Like the one that just lets you eat candy when your grandma say don't feed her candy. Like she was the one that I would tell on my cousins for not letting me play the game because I'm a girl or something. You know, like she was, she was the aunt. We had pizza Fridays. She was. Like, she was just, she was all amazing, like, she was an amazing aunt, like, and just knowing that her, like, granddaughter won't be able to, like, meet her, and, like, you know, it just kind of sucks. But let me just close this out, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment below. You guys, thanks so much for watching my TV show. See you guys.
me talk, and my drop.